Hi there, this is Izzy. It's nice to see you again. Now, there's plenty of advice out there on how you really should water orchids. And I'm going to show you an orchid where I break all of these rules and tell you why. But first I want to recap how it's good to water orchids. So if I have a Phalaenopsis orchid like this, I really want to water it from below. If I'm going to water it from above, I want to get the water on the bark and try not to splash it on the leaves. And if I do get anything on the leaves or on the crown, I want to have a bit of tissue handy just so I can mop it up. This is the same if you've got an orchid that has pseudo bulbs and things like that, where it's got lots of little growths. And it's especially true if you've got orchids that have leaves, little brown leaves around those growths. And this is all because what you really don't want with an orchid is water trapped down anywhere, especially in the crown, the growing point, or if you've got one with bulbs, down behind those dead leaves around the bulbs. Because if that water sits there for a long period of time, it can create a bacterial infection which rots your orchid. So you want to be a bit careful about watering them. And if you not, you'll learn a few rotted growths later as I've done. So I think most orchids follow these rules, but I have one where I don't follow these rules. And that is my Tolumnia orchid here. So I'll show you how I water my Tolumnia. So this Tolumnia seems to be fine being watered in this way, or at least it hasn't rotted yet. I do a mixture of this and of spraying it when it's inside its glass. And this is because this Tolumnia is not doing very well. So it lost its roots a long time ago, and I've had a lot of difficulty getting this plant to grow new roots and grow new growths. It's got thinner over time, the leaves are very leathery and very wrinkled, it's severely dehydrated, it should be very fleshy right now. But I still like this orchid and I really try hard to keep it alive and this year it even flowered for me, so the old flower spike is in here in the centre and you can see I've cut it off. So I guess most people would have given up on this orchid, but I am trying to rehydrate it through its leaves because it doesn't have any roots. And orchids have, well, all plants have stomata on their leaves, so they do have pores where they can get water in. If I can't get water in through the roots, I can try getting it in through the leaves. And this is a bit extreme, but this orchid is also in an extreme state. Let me know what you think about this and whether you've got any other suggestions. It's had a spag and bag and it has this watering method and it also gets sprayed frequently. Well, that's it for now. It's been lovely to see you. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Please rate, review and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.